Olympic flame cauldron built for the 1980 games has seen better days. Now town officials say it's time for the community to come together to protect their Olympic legacy. Our Kiana Burks takes us inside the iconic structure. Keeping this torch alive represents keeping us alive. Lake Placid is located in the town of North Elba, and the communities are working together to make sure the Olympic spirit still burns brightly here. They're looking for a way to repair the Olympic cauldron used in 1980. This is what it looked like back then when it was lit for the Winter Games. Now we're 43, 44 years uh, away from that event, and we're in need of dire renovation. This is the inside of the 1980 Olympic Flame Cauldron's base. It sustained a decent amount of damage over the years due to age and exposure to the harsh elements. Our, our winters are harsh and uh, any water that leaks behind the stone loosens it up. Every year there's a little more de deterioration. The whole face of, of this base needs to be torn apart. But improvements are on the way. The North Elba Town Council allocated $20,000 to rehab the cauldron's base. But people say they have bigger plans for the structure and will likely need more money to complete them. We kind of envision that this would serve as an information center, perhaps a welcome center. Lake Placid is famous because of its rich Olympic history, hosting the 1980 and 1932 Winter Games. Thousands of tourists come here every year, but the area is tiny compared to the major cities around the globe that have also hosted the games. That means they don't have the kind of cash on hand to complete this project without asking the community for help. We are fortunate to be the site of two Winter Olympics. Uh, this is a small town with 3,500 to 4,000 people that can welcome the whole world here every day of the year. This is easily a million dollar project. Uh, to raise a million dollars in a little community of this size could take us a year, maybe two years. Although those leading the project say they recognize it as a big ask, they say the benefits will be worth the upfront cost. The Olympics is what put Lake Placid on the map. So um, it is who we are. It's a critical part of how we show ourselves to the world. Technology is different now, so the water vapor barriers that we'll be able to put behind it are very different than what was available 40 years ago, 45 years ago. So um, hopefully something that gives it some longevity um, and allows us to really be proud of it being out here and, and be able to perhaps use it a little more than we do now. The rehab project is still in its early stages. The town says they're working with construction teams and community groups to work on the design while they begin fundraising for the $1 million project. Reporting in North Elba, Kiana Burks, Channel 3 News.